guys welcome back to Sunday Croft if it is your first time joining us welcome I hope you enjoyed it yeah. for those of you over on Surika's Facebook group um, do you want to see my Black Friday shopping game in this morning and I was asked nicely multiple times <laughs> to please show what I got so this is very much a weekday after work bad lighting last minute video i've decided i'm not going to do a full unboxing i will show you what's inside but i think going forward on my channel i would like to do sort of an unboxing before i start working on something so for today um i'm going to show you what i got i will do a little pan over of the canvas so you get the full picture still but yeah i don't think I'm gonna do the whole like toolkit everything. Um, I'm also gonna combine this with my sort of second installment in my parcel forwarding series because both of these actually came with Aramex Global Shopper, one from the UK and one from the US. So a quick rundown on Aramax Global Shopper or AGS. Uh, you basically sign up for a membership. I think it currently costs around 100 bucks. That is for the AGS basic. It's like a one-sort fee. You get access to, I think it's around 30 addresses for the rest of your life. And you then pay per 500 gram that you ship. Then you also get the AGS flex options which is either i think 300 rand a month or 750 for the annual subscription and you then pay the true weight amount so it, let's say your package is 510 grams they're only going to charge you for 510 grams they're not going to charge you for a full kilogram so if you regularly ship it might be worth it but I only ship occasionally, so I haven't really felt the need for it because the savings hasn't been that much. What else do I need to tell you? Yeah, for us diamond painters, the addresses that matter, you get an address in Australia. So Rose Profit Creations, Diamond Art Artistry, you can all have them shipped over there. Then you also get a US based address, which is in Florida, meaning no sales taxes yay and you get a uk based one i've been using them for a while now yes i have had issues as you will with most south african companies because let's just say sometimes customer service should rather be called customer frustration but they have not yet lost the package it mostly arrives in decent condition I will point out in this video customs did sort of mess up my one package but let's be fair customs were just doing their jobs and it's not exactly something aramax can control so some pros and cons um pro definitely is the pricing yes it's kind of sucky that they have like a sign up fee but to be honest weight based I think I'm paying less than half of what I was charged by another company so yeah not complaining about that they're not the fastest but they do deliver straight to my office door and I don't think I've ever waited more than two weeks I think three weeks max some cons you cannot um what's the word I'm looking for you can't sort of combine parcels. They, as they arrive, they are sent to you. So it's not like you can ask them to hold it and then put them together and ship it to you. But I don't think... Like off the top of my head, I don't really think that would make it more expensive. For me, anyway. I mean, if you're gonna buy 10 diamond paintings, yes, obviously, it would benefit you to sort of do a group shipment. But I rarely order a bunch together, so yeah. What else don't I like about them? 
the customer service being very South African. Patience is absolutely key. But other than that, I think I get what I pay for. I mean, if I wanted a more premium experience, I guess I could pay more, but I would rather spend more money on my actual diamond paintings and less on shipping. So as I mentioned earlier, I got two shipments. This was shipment number one. It came from the UX. And this was shipment number two. That arrived at my UK address. Now, something I'm going to point out. I got a surprise in this one. This is what I ordered. This was a gift. So yeah, that was quite nice. Um, but beyond that, I don't know if you know this, but if your import is under 500 rand, you don't pay import duties and VAT and AGS waives your custom clearance fee. This one, on the other hand, was not so cheap, so I paid customs, but uh, my customs clearance fee of 50 rand. Now, if you remember in my previous <laughs> video, I mentioned that the company that I usually use, which is AGS, is a lot cheaper than Postbox Courier. This is why I say that. Postbox Courier charges you 220 Rand for customs clearance. I'm used to paying 50 Rand. And that has been regardless of the value of my parcel. I've always paid 50 Rand. Let's talk about the US one first. This package consists of two diamond paintings from a Raven Diamond Art. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like this holographic effect on the black box. And there is their logo. And I of course adore the blood dripping. This is their slogan. This art is to die for. And then over on the back, you've got your instructions on how to diamond paint. And then up here, isn't that just so adorable? Warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness. So on Black Friday, actually the week running up to Black Friday, they ran a special where all of the diamond paintings was marked down by 50%. Now, I like dark art, I like horror, so they've been very tempting, but I've always wondered, because, you know, shipping to South Africa is expensive, buying in dollars is painful, and then this particular one was marked down from $30 to $15. And I couldn't resist. So I got <laughs> this little one called Dwight. Now if you're wondering where you might recognize him from, if you watch The Office, you might remember a certain Halloween scene where Dwight had a pumpkin on his head. I assume that was the inspiration for this painting. I will pop up a little thumbnail over here somewhere so you can see the art a bit better. Raven Diamond Art sells licensed art but I cannot for the life of me remember the artist's name off the top of my head but I will link it down below. Then they surprised me with an extra one. So I'm going to put this one in. This one is called Bad Moon. And I got this as a gift. So how cool is that? As you will see in my little pan over, these are both round draw kits. And they're sort of snack size. One is 50 by 40 and the other one is a 40 by 50. Now something I forgot to mention, um, I should have actually done this before we looked at the diamond painting, 
But anyway, um, this arrived at the US Depot, whatever you want to call it, on the 8th of December. And I got it today, which is the 18th, so that was the transit time of 12 days. I actually wonder if it wasn't a public holiday on Friday. It might have been here already. So I'm going to insert a little pan over of the canvases in here somewhere. And then we'll move on to the Oraloa one. kit which was also bought sort of in the run-up to black friday i think i ordered it on i think it was the tuesday they had a really nice um, discount going and this kit was already marked down so i got a really good deal on it this one was sent from france which is where oralawa's warehouse is to my uk address and it arrived in the uk on the 30th of November. So this one took a bit longer to arrive in South Africa but I did notice it sort of got stuck in customs along the way. I'm not sure if that is because everybody's Black Friday shopping was sort of streaming in at once but yeah overall 18 days. Now, as I pointed out earlier some idiot at customs did Sort of damage my package, but it's okay. I think everything is in there and intact, so it should be fine. So this one is a big boy. This one is Colorful Life by Julie. I'm gonna butcher the surname. Boy, boy. This is a square drill because I've heard amazing things of Araloa square drills, so I've decided why not? Let's give it a try. Okay, so this box is a bit big and awkward, but just to give you an idea, uh, this is the front. Then on the side it says let your creativity sparkle also i've got this whole like hawaiian thing going on um at the back you've got your instructions sorry guys this box is really big <laughs> and then over on this side you've got your little thumbnail the size of your image and then that's the little Oraloa. So we're all in mascots. Then got some information and their socials. And then up top, now if you guys are going to be able to see this, but you've got another thumbnail and the name of the artist and the artwork. I quite like that because that means I can either store it upright or on its side or just shove it in a shelf and I'll still be able to see what it is. my well behaved black friday haul of three diamond paintings but i only paid for two so technically i behaved myself first up we have our wonderful oraloa then we have the white from raven diamond art which still doesn't want to lie flat and this awesome gift which is a 
bad moon. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any comments or queries, please leave them down below in the comments. And I hope to see you in the next one.